This is Digit925 coming at you. This is going to be my first video on YouTube, and uh, I'm going to show you some of my finds, a little montage of some silver finds that I found, and I'm going to show you here some of the stuff that I found since I've been metal detecting. I've been metal detecting now for maybe a year and a half or so, and uh, I was running a little inexpensive um, Bounty Hunter Sharpshooter 2 for, I don't know, four or five months, maybe a little longer, give or take found some pretty good finds with it uh, and I decided to step up and get me something a little bit better and uh, more expensive of course and I got a mind lab safari and I really liked it I think they make a good product and uh, I'm going to show you some of my finds that I got and uh, hope you guys enjoy I'm going to show you some of um, some out in the field you know where I found them and uh, some what I got here in my box that I didn't get everything on video then so this way I could show you some of my stuff. This is the better stuff. I have lots of odds and ends like tokens and other goofy things that you know it, you know people find in the ground when you're digging up trying to dig up coins and stuff. But that I'll put that on a different video. But this is gonna be my first one, and I hope you all like it. If if you do, um, leave comments. If you don't, leave comments. That's fine. Um, hopefully I'll come out with another video down the road here pretty soon. Thank you and enjoy. Hey guys. Here's some of my finds that I found with uh, both detectors uh, that I've had the Mind Lab Safari and the Bounty Hunter Sharpshooter 2. But uh, here's my jewelry stuff that I found. I got this silver necklace right here. I found that about six inches down. Actually, it was hooked to this, this silver cross right here. It's kind of cool. But I do have that on tape when I found that or on video um, I've got a couple silver spoons the tarnished one is uh, just silver plated but the other one's solid silver dug them up and uh, I got this looks to be a silver class ring with emerald in it but it's not really silver it's just um, it's it's uh, white gold I had it checked out the only reason I picked it up because there's like a million pull tabs in that area is that was right next to this solid silver gigantic silver ring right there so uh, I just happened to have that signal just one inch away and I had found that and I found this little let's see this little charm here it's silver with a, some kind of a um, dime or not a diamond but some kind of a stone in it and then I got this little silver ring it has a initial in it a little little kids ring missing a couple stones it's silver and one with a lizard on it it's kind of bent up but it's silver and here's another one it's kind of a design my camera ain't the best I'm gonna have to get me another camera another silver ring and then that big one that I showed you it's a pretty good size one there I found this one here, the Abbey, built like 18 something. I think that's where I found it. I can't remember if that's where I found it. Or it was out the same day, but that was there. And got another little sterling pin. It's for Burlington something. I can't I can't read. It's too small. But then I got this little token here. Or it's not a token. It's just like a pendant thing, but. It has two grams of silver, 9.99%, and then the outside that's not gold, it's just plated junk, and then silver earrings. Found them in the same hole. Is <laughs> that funny or what? And um, this is pretty cool. Found this with my bounty hunter in 1876 seated quarter. Awesome. It was awesome condition. And uh then just recently I just found this you can't read the date probably whoops eight it's a 1876 seated Liberty also I gotta get a better camera sorry guys but it's in very good condition but another cool find I got a bunch of a bunch of Indian heads you know, see them they're kind of stuck behind here in the shadow Bunch of Indian heads. One got hit by a lawnmower. 
But uh, also got lots of silver quarters, silver dimes. Some of my cooler dimes is like I showed you that seated there. A bunch of mercuries. And I have one. Where's it at? One barber dime, really worn, 1902. That's an old one. The backs are similar on the seated and the barbers. That's old. And I got a bunch of war nickels there. And a couple, a couple of buffaloes. A couple of buffaloes right there. And a V nickel. Some call them, call them Liberty Nickels, but it's pretty old. I don't remember what the date is. 1908, it looks like. Then, this is pretty cool. I got this. 67 half, 40% silver, and tons of quarters. A couple of my stand, I got one standing Liberty right here pretty cool no date worn off but this is kind of neat this is a big gigantic well here's a half right there there's that it's a lot bigger but this is uh is from the uh is from turkey from the ottoman empire it's dated 1908 i live in iowa i found this in by in an old front yard of an old house but as you can see it's old I had a translator I put it on the internet and people told me what it was but it's silver 1808 it dated so that's kinda cool but anyhow well I'm gonna make another video and put some of my other cool stuff a lot of my other old tokens this is just some of my better finds whatnot I got a bunch of Older Wheaties there, 1909 VDB, uh, I think that's what they call them, uh, a couple 1910s, but anyway, well, that's that stuff, and I'll put another video up as fast as I can, and uh, show you some more cool stuff, alright, I'll get back to y'all, thanks. Bye. Yeah, I'm out at this place, tore down a bunch of houses out here for floods, because they were a low-lying area and they get flooded down here like terrible so I decided to take my detector out here and give it a whirl so I'm out here on the boulevards got a couple few old Wheaties a couple silvers I just dug this here pretty deep hole and I think what I have right there is silver Ooh, yes, and it's a rosy, sweet, like to see those, get back at you guys after a bit if I find anything else. Down here still on the floodplain, my buddy Larry over there, detecting with my spare detector, trying to get him into it, but I was just over here, got an awesome signal, I've got an awesome, I got an awesome signal right here and it, it's silver and it's a quarter. I can see the reeded edges on it. Oh, it's a Washington. 57. Sweet. Well, I'll get back to you if I find anything else. Hey guys. Still down here on the old floodplain. Pulled out that silver Washington quarter right over there across the street here. And I'm rushed on the boulevard here. Dug an iffy signal. It's really deep. Or what I believe I think is I got me a silver ring. It's a little one. I would say it's definitely silver. It's way down there. And it's shining pretty good. It has an S on it. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of tarnished. But guarantee you that's silver. I see no mark on it. Can't tell. It's too dirty. 
have to get it home and clean it up and check it out but I know that's silver sweet another silver ring down on the floodplain loving it get back with you guys if I find anything else thank you hey folks I'm back out here at this floodplain where they tore all these houses out down here and uh, got a hole dug here using mine lab safari things awesome it's a silver sniffer but uh, I just got to dug this plug a lot of trash around here so signals are kind of iffy but I think I got me some silver Let's see what we got here oh yeah another mercury Sweet. See if I can get a date off it for you. I can't really tell. 1942. That's awesome. I'll take it. I'll get back to y'all if I find anything else. Still out here at this place out here where they tore all these houses down because of the floods and been pulling up some silver dimes out of here and I just dug this up way down there probably about nine inches or so but what I think I got here is some more silver what do we have Ooh, it's a mercury dime see if I can get a date off it Looks to be 1945. All right, we'll take that. Get back with you guys if I find anything else. Hello, folks. I'm out here metal detecting at this house here by real close to where I live. It's an older place. As you can see, old pine trees. Nice big yard. But uh, just got along here the driveway. Got a bouncy signal. Bouncing from penny, dime, quarter. I dug down. I think I got a mercury dime here. Ground's kind of hard. Yep, it's a merc. What is the date on this puppy? 1917. Well, let me double check that. Sorry, all I got is my iPhone and it doesn't. I don't know if you can see that. But, yep, it's a 1917. A little worn, but hey, I'll take it. Great. It's only about five inches down. Sweet. Talk to you guys if I find anything else. Thanks. Okay, I'm still here. I got that that barber dime right there. The mercury dime over there. And I just got pulled out pulled out another silver here. It wasn't very deep, but the ground's really rocky right in here. It's probably about four or five inches deep. But there she is. Let's see. Looks like it could be a merc. Yes, it is. 1944 Mercury. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Clean them up. Check them out later. Let you guys know if I find anything else. I hear metal detecting at this house right here, but from the 1800s. But uh, been digging nothing but uh, mostly just. Modern day stuff, but I got a goofy signal and it's really deep, so I dug it up. It looks like to be silver to me on the edge. Oh, yeah, it's a mercury dime. Let's see what the year be 1916D. But I'll take it, it's another silver. Get on here if I find anything else, guys. Out here, metal detecting out here 
these boarded up houses. There's like three here in a row. Figured I'd hit them. Nobody lives at any of them. You know, I think they're owned by the city, but I dug this hole, got a good signal, and I think I got myself a rings. Looks like it has a like a lizard on it or something. But it looks pretty shiny. So I'm gonna clean it up and see if it's silver. I'll get back with you guys if I find anything else. I'll let you know. Let you know uh, if this is silver or not. I'll get back with you guys later. Thanks. Out here, metal detecting in front of this really old house. Check it out. It's like an octagon house. Nobody lives here. But this puppy is an old, old, old house. As you can see, banded. But I just got here. Haven't been here for five minutes. I dug a hole, got a screaming, screaming 20 or 38, and out popped a, got me a little silver ring here. It's missing a couple stones, but I know it's silver. Pretty sweet. On to the next one. See you then. I'm out here metal detecting this old abbey established back in 1839. I mean, this place out here, we got permission. And it, it's just awesome. All the, nothing but nice mowed acres and acres of old land. It hasn't been touched. And I just started here and I dug me a nickel signal. And what I got here is a war nickel. So, if I find anything else, I'll let you all know. Thank you. Bye. What about this other, oops, got this other church here. Let's see, get the camera out here. What about this other church, this old place here. There's a church, newer church over here. And then the school right here, but right out front, I just got a nickel signal. Dug down. I got a V nickel. 1900. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's really bright out here, but I just I just dug a 1925 weedy before this right out here. I went another 10 feet and got this. So hopefully I find some more good stuff. I'll let you know if I do. Thanks. Hi guys, I'm back at the same place I uh, found that V nickel just right across the sidewalk over there. And I just dug a really iffy, really not good sounding signal, and it ended up being a 1905 Indian head. Sweet. I'll take it. Get back with y'all if I find anything else. Guys, I'm back. I'm at this old school. Sorry for the wind. You might not be able to hear me very well, but next door to this old school here, uh, there's a church built in 1883. And I uh, just dug a, a good old silver rosy. But if I find anything else, I'll let you know. Thanks. I'm still over here, this old house. There's a church over there. That one there was built in 1883, I think. But uh, just dug a hole over here and got a little religious medallion. Looks to be silver. Shines pretty good, so I think it is. That'll work. If I find anything else, guys, I'll get back to you. Thanks. Hey, guys. I'm out here hunting behind this art museum and putting them here and down in this flat area they used to have art shows and stuff out here and just dug this up. I know it's probably about five, six inches down, but looks like a silver cross with a chain on it. But the chain's still stuck in here. I don't try not to break it out. I know that I know it's gotta be silver because it's too clean and it's it's been down there for a while because it was pretty deep. Yeah, that's definitely silver. Sweet. You know what? I think it was for sale and somebody had dropped it because there's a tag right there that I bet was on it. That little piece of white paper. And see, they used to sell this stuff out here all the time. They have little booths everywhere. And I bet you somebody looked at that and they dropped that. But that's okay. I pick it up. I dig it up and I keep it. If I find something else, I'll let y'all know. Thanks. Yeah, guys, it is seated and in beautiful condition. 
haven't got it all cleaned off, but it looks like a 1876 seated dime. Sweet. I don't. Cleaned it off just a little bit more. Sorry about my camera. All over the place here. Can't see a mint mark. There it is. Beautiful condition. Beautiful condition. I'll get back to you guys if I find anything else. Sorry about my camera. This is a nice one. Thanks. Hey guys, I'm out here again. I found that silver cross necklace over there with the chain on it. Right down here. On the, on the bottom of this hill, some old trees. Found a lot of old things, but I got a silver dime here. Just popped it up out of this hole. I don't know what it is yet, but it's definitely old. It might be seeded. But I'm gonna, I got some water in my pack. I'm gonna clean it off and I'll let you guys know in a second what it is, okay? I'll be right back with you.